Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City. We're doing Redemption. Uh, we got our S plus finally on Veteran. And I cannot tell you how many times that I've tried this level and come up short. Got probably a dozen or more S's, but never been able to get the S plus. And the truth is, I'm not really sure how to work that grade bonus. Uh, it's just this time I tried to you know, keep the pace up, but I uh, made sure that every hunter that I came across I killed and uh, I just tried to get as many uh, one shot kills in with the shotgun and get multis with, with the grenade and this and that. Obviously collecting all the data and getting all the cameras as well is going to be a <coughs> mandatory if you want to get your S+. plus. So I finally got most of all these done. I'm down to the end of the line, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that S+, plus, but I'm going to try. But uh, I just got this redemption done and got the S+, plus and was quite happy about that. And I tell you, like I said, I put a lot of effort in the previous times to get it and only got 1700 1750 And you have to get 1800 in order to get your S+. Plus. I uh, finished this level with 2000 which is the max. Again, uh, I've mentioned it many times on all my S Plus videos. I'm not exactly sure what the, the combination is to get your grade up over 16, 1700. What's the extra over the data and uh, the cameras? Because those alone will get you, you know, real close. But there's definitely something else there that pushes you over the edge. Uh, not dying, but I've uh, achieved S pluses on uh, other levels and died, but not on this level. And it's very easy too, so I have to come back for that camera. I can't seem the time to deal with some zombies. When this game first came out, I was just always using the heavy uh, machine gun, uh, just the ammo and the number of rounds you got, but uh, it seemed like it took a lot of rounds too. And I read on some forums that, you know, other people achieved their S pluses using the riot shotgun, so I decided to try it. Uh, with this uh, character and her special ability, it definitely is nice when you're dealing with hordes. Uh, and you, you know, if you work it so you're getting ready to get into there, you, you know, you can activate your infinite ammo. I don't know why with the shotgun, when you activate it, it goes to zero or one shell. So it's like you have to activate it and then reload the gun. But once I started using this riot shotgun, I can't really use anything else. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, the ammo will work you. Remember where the boxes are, having to go back. Because the number of times I've been through the level, it's like I know the, the locations pretty well, where all the data and the cameras are. And I did videos on those too, so... Panel here to reach the lower level. Yeah, it's gonna activate the horde wave. You get the uh, zombie in the center of that reticle and it's pretty much toast with this shotgun.
Yeah, I activated, then I uh, reloaded my gun. <laughs> Definitely the street sweeper for sure. Kills. place before hitting the elevator. I always try to save a uh, frag for a little bit later when you had the fight with Ada. She kind of gets you cornered in that little corridor and uh, There's a mine there that you just can't shoot, so throwing a frag in there definitely helps. Get off of me. Activated the switch, but I'm not going to get on the platform until my ability recharges. I'll definitely take that grenade. That's a gift. going to open up here and some of the parasite enemies are going to show up the uh, frag to kind of you kill off the zombies and then uh, only a few parasites to take care of which are a lot easier than dealing with them on bodies Shoot this camera and be on our way. It's also the home of the raccoon for this level. It's right there. I got uh, separate videos on all that stuff. This is just to get the S plus on redemption. Anyway, when we get to the bottom here, we're going to have our little cutscene. On the casual level, I left all the cutscenes in, but on this, uh, pretty much just uh, X thrones, so to speak. Okay, this little part up here with her is uh, it's a little tricky. Found a little system as long as I got a bottle of health here. A spray. I 
if I had my co-op partner, he could cloak all the way up past her to get the uh, next cutscene to activate. Okay, I run up on the first left uh, crate there for cover. I'm gonna shoot these mines. Okay, and then throw a frag. Take care. There's a that one right there. As you try to run up to her, she, that mine would take you out, and she's shooting you too. All right, so there's no way to get up there without her hitting you. So fill up the health and then run up there. Try not to get jammed up. And that activates this and takes care of getting to that part anyway. And go back and grab the plants and ammo. Okay, there's a camera and a dead in this room. Take those spec ops out too. Okay, that triggers the special ops. I like to run past them, get through this, let them get into that way there, and just kind of come around and work on. I don't want to run up there with the shotgun. They would definitely do some damage to me. So you gotta, I like chipping away at them. Okay, there's a piece of data in this room, and then a camera. We're going to go ahead and break the video here, and we will see you on the next part.